Hi guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be talking about Mula and more specifically, how to open your own bank account as an international person here in France. Now, yes, this may be a very boring subject matter to cover, but it is so essential if you are planning on moving to France. I myself have struggled with opening my bank account, with keeping my bank account, with changing bank accounts. I feel like I have three years worth of banking knowledge and today I'm going to share with you why it's important that you open a bank account immediately as you get to France and how to open a bank account. And also in that second half of the video, I am going to be sharing with you guys a way to get free money when you open your bank account, so keep watching. So first and foremost, why is it so important to open a bank account as soon as you land in France? Well, it is because everything you do is done through your bank account. The payment systems we have in Canada and North America in general are very different from the way that you'll pay for things in France. In Canada, it's very normal for you to pay for something with your credit card or your debit card Whereas in France, it's not so much the case. The way that you make regular payments, for example, a phone bill, rent, electricity, heating, all that kind of stuff is done by direct billing, where the company will automatically remove the money that you owe them from your bank account. And in order for you to set up a contract with that company, you have to have a bank account to give them so that they can remove your money on a monthly basis. I don't know if I'm making it clear, but the reason why this is just important for me to say is that I remember when I first landed in France, one of the most important things for me to get was internet and a cell phone plan because I was literally just stuck in a country with nothing. And in order for me to get internet and in order for me to get a SIM card, I had to present the telecom company with my banking information. And specifically the banking information they're looking for is a khib. We don't have those in Canada. We have like account numbers and a khib, I guess you could say, is the equivalent of an account number in France. But you need to have a bank set up in France with a khib that you give to these companies so that they can start a contract with you and take direct payments from your bank account on a monthly basis. So now that we've covered why it's essential for you to get a bank account as soon as you land in France, let's talk about how to get this bank account. Now, I remember when I first moved to France, it was impossible to get my bank account. A lot of banking companies looked at my profile and said, you're gonna be here for a short amount of time, we don't wanna take you on as a client. Like banks are under no obligation to have you as their client. I was rejected by three or four banks until I finally found a banking company that would accept me as a short-term student in France. So for me, the easiest bank that I went with was Société Générale. I signed a contract with them. My bank account was free for one whole year. They required very little paperwork. They required my ID, my visa, uh, an attestation that I was going to school, and proof of address. So it was very simple. I went into the bank, I sat down, I showed them my paperwork, I signed the contract, and I got my bank account right then and there. Once I had this bank account, I was able to go get a cell phone plan, I was able to get internet, I was able to do all sorts of things with this bank account. For me, it took a long time because I was trial and error which bank would take me, I had to set up appointments. So I would recommend initially starting with Société Générale. Even before you get to France, I would recommend that you send them an email, maybe you give them a call and you set up an appointment so that like the day after you land you are at that bank and you have your account by the end of the day. That being said, my experience with Société Générale as a bank was horrendous. It was good because it was very fast to set up, they accepted me as an international person, and it was free for a year. But after that year, it was 10 euros a month, and it was practically impossible for me to close that account. I was like going back and forth and back and forth, they wanted me to write a letter, I would write a letter, they wouldn't receive it, I would email them and try and get it closed, and they would say, no, send us a letter. It just took me probably six months for me to close my bank account. And for a whole year after the first year of opening that account, I paid 10 euros a month to have that bank account. It was so stupid. So that being said, what I would really truly recommend is that once you have your bank account set up where you sat down live with like a physical French bank and you got your account, you've got all your information, then you immediately get yourself on an online bank. The reason why you can't just start by getting yourself an online bank, because it's so easy, I wish it was possible for you guys, but the thing is, in France, online banks can't really 
validate your ID. So they need another bank to validate your ID before they take you on as a customer. So when you apply for your online bank, you need very little paperwork, you need your ID, but you also need a khib, remember the khib we were talking about, the account number, from a French bank account that you already have set up. This again is for security reasons, the online banks can't check your paperwork the same way physical banks can, so because they're asking you for your khib, for your French bank account information, they don't need to do all that ID checking insecurely online. I hope this is clear, but once you have your physical bank account set up, I would immediately go and set up your online bank account where you need very little paperwork but you do need your khib. I myself switched to Boursorama, and the reason why I'm saying this is because life is so easy. Everything is online, and everything is quite literally free. When I mean everything, I don't just mean your account fees. Societe Generale was free for one year, but then it was 10 euros a month. Boursorama, on the other end, is not only free every single month while I'm with them, but I also have access to a bunch of other free things. For example, I recently had to request a checkbook so that I could pay my dentist who doesn't accept credit card, who just takes checks. Normally, you have to pay for a checkbook. Bursohama sends you as many as you want for free. Another thing that I get for free is instant money transfers. Normally with like a physical French bank, you can do a bank transfer, which takes like three to five days, I think, or you can pay one euro to do an instant transfer and the money can get there right away. Boursorama, on the other hand, is free for any immediate transfers. I feel like I'm advertising for this bank or trying to sell it to you guys, but I just was so pissed when after one year Societe Generale had the audacity to charge me 10 euros a month and wouldn't let me close my account. It was such a battle. I was so stressed. I was pissed because if you think about it, in an entire year, that's almost 200 Canadian dollars that the bank is taking in fees all because they won't close your account. It's like, it was such a nightmare. I'm so relieved to be out of that for now. I've been with Boursorama for about a year and a half, two years, and it's been the easiest, cheapest option for me. Now, like I said at the start of this video, if you guys do want to open a Boursorama account, now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I do have a way for you guys to get free money when you open your Boursorama bank account. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want to set up a Boursorama account, you literally just have to click that link and Boursorama will transfer 80 euros into your bank account once you set it up. And speaking of setting your account up, that's another reason why I really, really like Boursorama is because you literally can just take a picture of your ID and send it to them on the app. You don't have to print anything. You don't have to scan anything. Everything is literally just easy peasy. I think they require three documents that you literally just take a picture of and upload to the app. It's your passport, proof of residence, and your French bank account information. Three things, it's very easy. I think I had my account open with Boursorama in 24 hours. So yeah, like I said, obviously this video isn't sponsored. Obviously, I don't want to push you guys to do anything you don't want to do, but I'm just sharing this information because honestly, French banking has been such a struggle. I didn't get it right the first time around, and I want to make sure that I can help as many people as possible get it right as soon as they land. <laughs> I hope this video has been clear. To be perfectly honest with you, it feels like it's been the furthest thing from clear. If you guys have any questions, like if you guys have any specific questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will answer all of them. I might even make another video if this video is too confusing. I have so much experience with paperwork in France that I'm really happy to share that knowledge with you guys if it's useful or if you need help with anything. So let me know if this was useful in the comments below. Let me know if you have any other questions. If you did like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Um, the link to the 80 euros for the Boursorama will be down in the description below, and I will see you guys in my next video.